Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Last time we went through our first mission, and uh, we talked to some more guys, met some no more crew members on the TCS Victory. So now let's go through and do our second mission. We'll attend the briefing, and figure out what we need to do next. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. One of our tracking stations report Karathi activity in these regions. I'd like you to run a patrol through there, sweep the areas. The station's report is sketchy. You might encounter some sort of Karathi capture. Go to it, Colonel. Yeah, seems easy enough. We can do that. So, these yeah, but are notice, the mission objectives. Notice it looks like it's Orsini 1 in the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Okay, well, I liked Vaquero's jam on his, on his guitar. So, when you now have a choice of all the different wingmen that we've spoken to to this point, Cobra and... Vagabond and Vicaro. I like Vicaro's jam, so I'm gonna go with him. Vicaro, I like you on my wing for this one. Dismissed. Okay, we'll right. so, and again, it doesn't really matter which guy you pick. Um, I like to spread it out though, amongst all of the, uh, amongst all of the uh, different wingmen that you can pick. Okay, let's talk to Rachel. Now, now we have a choice of a few different fighters that we can use. Now, this is the Hellcat Five. I actually rank this as the third. We have uh, three choices. I don't. I personally don't like this fighter. Um, this is my second favorite. This is the Thunderbolt 7. Now, a lot of people like this ship uh, because it's uh, got it's got decent shields, I guess, um, and it has tremendous firepower in the guns, and it has a torpedo, which is good for taking out capital ships. But I think that it doesn't handle very well. Um, like, there will be some times where you can move in a certain direction, and it won't move just because that's how the ship is. So we're going to go with my favorite choice, and this is, I think, the, the best ship that you have access to by far. It's the Arrow. Not only does it have the highest top speed of the three ships, but it, it's the only sh or the only fighter, rather, ship, fighter, whatever, that will actually respond to every single command that you make. Not only that, but it has eight missiles on it. The other ones have only six. Um, the only drawback to this one is um, the shields on it are quite thin. But if you can move really fast and dodge the shots, it doesn't really matter. Now we have heat-seeking missiles, which I'll sh I may show you at some point, and more of those image recognition missiles. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one. And that's probably the fighter I'm going to be using most of the time. So, Okay, here we go. Let's fly our mission. And we've seen the sequence already, so we don't need to see that again. Okay, now, let me go over some of more of the commands. Now, we're going to push F1 to switch to this view. Now, we push backslash to go to uh, maximum speed. F for full guns. And I would like to have my communications, um, communications window up. So, we'll auto to the first zone. And we got nothing here. Let's keep moving on. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to switch to my image rec missiles. Now, same thing as before. Is there just two of them? Yeah, just two of them. So, wait till the uh, green arrow comes up. And do the same thing over here. See if we get them both. Nope, looks like a miss. So, now, what I like to do is just follow them behind him and push down the space bar to shoot my gun. And just the green arrow, or that green dot, will tell you which way that you're, or where you need to aim, because that's which direction the ship is flying. There we go. Got it. So that's how you take out an enemy with your guns. Okay, no problems there. Let's move on to the third zone. Okay, what do we got here? Two more targets. Ooh, and a transport. That's the capital ship that he was talking about. So we'll deal with that one here in a moment. Okay, so same strategy as before. Just wait till the green arrow comes up. Boom. And boom. Let's see if we get him. Yes, got him. Now, we could go home right now, but we're going to go take out this transport first. Now, the deal with these transport ships is they have a little bit stronger weapons and guns now, but they move very slowly. So, we're actually going to take this thing out with our, with our own guns. So, now, as you're getting close, you want to push the Y button, because that will actually take your uh, speed and match the speed of the, uh, of, the, of the target. Now, so now we're matching target speed, and it can't touch us, so now we just sit and hold down the rapid fire until the thing goes boom. And that's all there is to destroying these transports. Now, you gotta, you got to move down, up and down every once in a while to make sure that, you're, that you don't get wasted, that your shields don't get wasted, so you got to watch for that. Okay, got to retreat a little bit. 
And of course, if you don't feel comfortable taking out the cap ship, you can just send Vaquero to do it. And maybe that can draw some of the fire away from, it, from us. See, and Vaquero will start attacking the ship. Which may be a good thing, and, you know, it doesn't really matter who gets the kill. But just stay with it. The Carol's drawing away some of the fire from us, so that's nice. And between our efforts, we should be able to take this thing out. There we go. Got him. Easy, Vaquero. Easy, buddy. Okay, no problems. And we got him. All right. And now we push victory. Need clearance to land. Clearance to TCF victory. Alright, nice job everybody. And we don't need to see this sequence, so we'll escape. And there's the arrow coming in. And I'll show you this message. Because if I push escape, uh, it, it goes past what Rachel will say to us. and She should say something differently to us since our ship took a little bit of damage. Most of the time I won't show this, but I'll show you this new message since we took a little damage. Oh, never mind. Pretty slick flying, sir. Okay, never mind. So, all right. Nice job, team. Yeah, we've seen this already. All right. Now we could go attend another briefing, but let's see what's going on uh, in the rest of the ship there. Okay. Hey, there's Rachel just chilling out. Let's go talk to her. Ooh, she looks pretty cute when she's not in her, in her guard there. Hey, girl. All right. Up a chair. Oh, I see. Let me know if I'm out of line in here, but the word is there's a test pilot flying in on one of the new Excaliburs. Is that true? Oh, Commander, tell me everything. I hope it's true. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with one of those pups. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? I just hope the test pilot's not some prick so while he touches equipment. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You really get to the point. Yeah, well, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. I have an engine part works or it doesn't. Shane's still alive. Not as much as people do, anyway. It should be a little hard on the people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Chief? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. <laughs> yeah, Blair, you go, boy. Now, the interesting thing about the actress that plays Rachel in this is actually an adult film star. And uh, Ginger Ginger Smith or Ginger Lynn, I don't know. I don't really care for those type of movies, so I'm not particularly sure. But anyway, you can look that up. Okay, we're up to eight kills now. We're doing pretty good. And nothing new here. But yeah, we now got a couple hotties on the ship. Okay, let's see if the news around here. Nope. Okay. Well, that's all we can really do for now, so. All right. Well, um, I'm probably not going to have time to get into the next episode, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. But uh, next time, we will continue on in the Orsini system and uh, continue to move along with the story. Now, I will say, uh, please leave comments and let me know if you're, if you're enjoying this thus far and if you think that this will be good, if you think the gameplay will work. The gameplay will get a little bit more uh, involved as we go along, for sure. So you need not worry about that. But that's where we are so far. But uh, until next time, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.